Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make Moe's Tavern from the cartoon The Simpsons for all of your city building needs. I thought that it would be cool to combine two things that I love making, city builds and cartoon and movie and video game builds, into something that can be both. So this is a bar that has been modified, of course, but is still heavily based on Moe's Tavern from The Simpsons which I think I've done a pretty good job with, and hopefully you guys agree. If you do, please do remember to hit that like button, as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. And if you want to help me out loads and loads and loads, try and watch this video all the way to the end, because that is really, really phenomenally helpful. Thank you so much, and let's get this video started. This is the amount of space required to make the bar a 23 by 21 one block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground which I would more than recommend making if you are playing out a city it'll just help you quite a bit. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your bar. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. Step one, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of your grid if you've made it. Move inwards diagonally by two. One, two, and begin the build up by placing seven terracotta going right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place a purple terracotta on the end. Extend in one. Red terracotta to the right. Gap of one, or better yet, you can destroy where you would leave the gap. And then on the other side, place a red terracotta. Purple terracotta after that. Extend forwards. Place seven terracotta going right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then extend that seventh terracotta backwards by sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Extend the sixteenth block across by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Leave or destroy a gap of two in the ground, and then continue placing terracotta, extending right until you are able to extend right and then join to the front of the build. So the end result should be this really weird looking shape. It almost sort of reminds me of a creeper head. I don't know who else might be getting that, but it's just kind of like the doorway. So it kind of reminds me of a creeper mouth. Anyway, now that we've done that, we have to build up the walls of the tavern. So Let's place all of the windows first. If you start with the front left hand corner of the build and extend up one, two using terracotta, the top of the roof is going to be made out of light grey terracotta, so feel free to add one of those on top as well. But more importantly, right of the terracottas, you want to place two, let's get this right, purple terracottas. You then want to leave a gap of three, so one, two, Free. And then on the other end of that, you want to have two more purple terracotta. You want to do the same thing on the right side of the build, so two terracottas, light grey terracotta on top, left of the terracottas, purple terracotta, leave a gap of three, more, two more purple terracottas, just like this. So those are the two window spaces. The purple terracottas placed next to the entrance also want to get extended up by two, just as we did with the terracottas on the left and right. Same with the red terracottas, except with this particular part, we want to place a yellow glass block in between the top and a birch button to the right of the middle red terracotta, just like this. We're going to place a row of light grey terracotta extending across the top of the entire thing. And then you can kind of see how this is going to be structured. There's going to be a sign above the doorway. It's made out of magenta concrete and it spans the width of the two pillars of purple terracotta. Extend the magenta upwards by one row and you can even extend backwards a row as well if you want it to look a little bit chunky like that. Next, we're going to add another set of windows. This is going to be the last set of windows that we need to add. Begin on the left side of the build by placing a row of terracotta extending backwards from the row that we previously had already. Then, mark out 
a few rows of purple terracotta. Basically, it works like this. One purple terracotta, gap of three. Purple terracotta, gap of three. Purple terracotta, gap of three. Purple terracotta, and then lastly, just some terracottas extending backwards. Basically, we want to have two terra... Everywhere that we don't have windows, we want to have two terracotta, and then light grey terracotta on top. So, all of these purple terracottas want to be extended upwards like this. We want to have regular terracottas extended upwards at the back here. So, this is on top of all of these baseline terracottas just like this. We want to have enough room for an entrance. That's why we have this little gap here. It's an entrance slash exit, I suppose. On the right side of the bar, we don't really have anything. There's no windows or anything like that, or at least in this particular version. I don't know why I'm placing that. We want to have a light grey terracotta placed on top of the walls, of course, extending uh, on top of the terracotta. So we want the light grey on top of just the regular, and we just want to add all of this. Outside of the light grey terracotta, you want to have an overhang of purple terracotta. So this just sits on top of all of the windows. It will join to the sign on the front of the build, just like this. It's worth mentioning as well that I'm, I'm sure that I would have made this clear. This isn't like a one-for-one -one copy of Most Heaven itself. Like, it has been altered, of course, to make it a little bit more uh, Minecraft-friendly, but... We're going to be placing light grey terracotta at the top of the build. So this is going to be the roof material, the light grey terracotta. The reason that I mentioned that it's not like a one for one copy, it's not perfect, is because it would be almost impossible to make this build at a scale that makes sense for a city like this is just supposed to be a small bar it's it's not really meant to be huge but it would have to be made so many more magnitudes larger to fit in all of the details that would be appropriate if we were trying to copy it one for one instead we've just tried to capture the vibe of the place we've tried to make it as, as close as possible whilst it's still making sense now the reason that i mentioned that again coming back to this is because the roof has details that would would suggest that there's like stairs inside and that, like a second floor but it's it's just not the case but anyway this is what we have so far i'm pretty happy with it we have to fill these two little gaps in beside the main entrance here with terracotta but for all of the windows they all follow the same structure along the bottom of the windows on both sides you have green glass in between you have orange above that you have the opposite so you place orange above the green you guys get the idea green above the orange. And this wants to be uh, present throughout... Yeah, I did it wrong there. Um, this wants to be present throughout every single window. So every single window, you have green on the left and right sides, orange in between the two greens, and then above the windows, the second part of the windows, um, they want to be the exact opposite. So you guys can see exactly, just like that, boom, nice and easy. So what we're going to be doing next, I'm just going to put these materials away for a second because we do have some more details to add. Smooth stone, dark oak doors, grey concrete, light grey concrete, uh, light blue glass, stone brick wall, loom, magenta banner, red dye. And we are going to dig out all around the bar. Usually I'd wait until later to do this, but it's not a huge area, so I don't mind doing it now. And plus I want to place the door as well. I don't know why. Whenever I place a door, it always feels like an accomplishment. So um, we're going to dig out all of the grass and the concrete that I placed for the kind of like the border of the bar. Gonna dig it all out, gonna replace it with smooth stone. This will integrate it into a city. If you want it to be a little bit more like Moe's Tavern, then you would add a car park to the left side of the bar. Um, it's a car park where you've kind of got a couple of car park spaces, I think about three of them or so, on the left side. And we are missing one very minor detail. I just remembered, but we can actually add it with the stone wall. I can't believe that I just remembered that out of nowhere. But basically, on the left side of the build, as we come to it, let me just add the stone. There is a drain pipe. It's such a minor detail. Next to this window, there is a drain pipe that leads up to the roof. 
I completely forgot about that. It's not even in the plans that I'm looking at now, but I just remembered <laughs> through studying most of I just remembered that there's a, that there's a drain pipe there. There's as I mentioned, there's a car park kind of like I think it even loops around at the back a little bit as well. And um, like this car parking space is horizontally out the side. When I say horizontally, like they they like the cars would be facing this way towards the windows. Um I think there's a, at the very least three of them. Um, part of the pavement or the sidewalk kind of like um, comes into the car park a little bit. But it all depends like on what sort of, like do you want to try and copy it block for block or uh, are you trying to integrate it into a city? This is more for integration. So if you want to add more details, you can. Um, I'm going to add a dark oak door there. Very satisfying to place that. I'm going to place a double dark oak door at the back. Again, very satisfying. I don't even know why. Next, we are going to... I don't want to do the sign just yet because I, I don't really like making banners. <laughs> Uh, so there's some details on the roof. This first thing, I'm not even quite sure what it's supposed to be. Okay, so I, I don't know where it is, but it's here. So um, maybe a generator on the top right-hand corner of the front of most heaven. So where we have this very first light grey terracotta, we want to move back one. Place three grey concrete. One, two, three. Place it on top of that stone brick wall. To the left of this, place grey concrete. I think it's a generator or something of sorts, perhaps air conditioning, who knows. Next, we want to take the left end grey concrete block and we want to leave a gap of, I want to say two, but I think it looks like three. One, two, three, it's not that matter. We'll leave a gap of three, so one, two, three. And then on this fourth block, light grey concrete. Extend the light grey concrete left by 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Extend back by 2. 1, 2. Extend to the right. Join forwards. On the left and right sides and across the back, we want to extend the light grey concrete upwards. We don't want to extend the first row. We want to, in between the light grey concrete, we want to leave a gap of 2. Light grey concrete, gap of 2. Light grey concrete, gap of 2. Light grey concrete light blue glass block in between all of the light gray that's perfect and then in the back left hand corner of the bar here where we have once again the light gray terracotta move inwards diagonally by one light gray concrete extend right to forwards to door to the left light gray extending back on itself extend above the left and right of the door extend two light gray concretes and join it together um, behind the door and then you want to place extend the top of this backwards by one row extend down and then I think that will just fill in behind the door or you can even like add an extra row of light grey concrete and they're kind of like all of the details at the top of the bar so as I kept mentioning earlier that it's not like a one for one copy it also doesn't make a massive amount of sense that we have this door up here because it, it doesn't lead to anywhere but it's a cool detail I like it it makes the build more interesting these skylights I also haven't I haven't made them work like I, I don't want to really like dig into the roof and um, I mean the generator doesn't matter because it's still that that's still all right like it serves no functional purpose anyway but the other two things could um if they wanted to so anyway next we're going to make the sign it's a very simple sign throw down the loom crack it open uh i'll tell you what let's chuck all these materials away for a second and let's place magenta banner in there with only one there we go a magenta banner in there with red dye and the first letter that we've got to make is M. And how I didn't realize that we'll need some magenta dye, I don't know. So we need a triangle shape of red uh, of red coming down from the top of the banner. It looks like a tooth. So we're going to grab that, grab the red dye. We're going to grab ourselves some magenta dye. Again, I don't realize, I don't know how I didn't realize that we would need it. Here we go, grab that. So we'll then put the tooth banner air quotes over tooth in with the magenta dye and then we'll do the top row of teeth banner as i call it so grab that put that back in get rid of the magenta dye chuck red in there vertical row of red dye on the left and the right will give you m next we need to make o so brand new banner in there vertical row of red on the left vertical row of red on the right Horizontal row across the bottom, horizontal row across the top, boom, we have O. Next, we have to make E. So, E is going to be a horizontal row of red along the top. 
bottom, middle, vertical row on the left, E. Then we have to make, we need another banner. I'm really doing, I'm doing very poorly with the banner materials, I'll be honest with you. So we need a horizontal row of red across the top, across the bottom, and then top left corner to bottom right corner, we have S. We need an additional banner. Although, by the way, all of these materials will be in the item list. It's just me that uh, has forgotten what I've needed. <laughs> so, next, we need an apostrophe. So, magenta banner in there with the red die. And you're looking for the top right corner. Little tiny square of red. Boom. There you go. So, for the sign, all we simply need M O E apostrophe s and it fits nice and neatly in the magenta sign that we we already had laid out anyway so we can get rid of all those materials now including the loom and honestly that is the outside done unless you want to add a car park and such but i'm not doing that let's head inside the tavern now so, inside the tavern, we have a couple of things to do to lay out some groundwork. So, cyan terracotta for this, light blue terracotta, green terracotta, spruce wood planks, dark oak planks, crimson stairs, iron bars, red carpet, birch fence. So, what'd be best? I suppose it'd be best to kind of, like, lay out the lay out the inside of the bar so what we're basically going to do is we're going to add a row of spruce wood planks around the entire edge of the inside of the bar so spruce wood plank so we're kind of like giving the bar a double wall so to speak so just all the way around the edge just spruce wood planks on top of it, we're going to place green terracotta, so this is going to be the walls. So, I'm actually quite happy that we are using this sort of method, because otherwise we would just kind of like have the um, the terracotta, and it, it wouldn't feel as homey or as co homey? It wouldn't feel as homey or as cozy as it kind of does with the green, so I'm actually quite happy with that. Uh, we're going to dig out the entire floor, and we're going to to make a patchwork, well patchwork is the wrong word, it's kind of like an alternating pattern of cyan terracotta and I want to say that that's light blue terracotta although I don't know my terracottas that well because they look nothing like they're supposed to, like cyan terracotta looks nothing like cyan, it's grey, <laughs> you know, um, and there's a couple of like light grey terracotta looks nothing like light gray so i always get them confused and i also and also the pigments of the not like an actual pig but the colors of the and by the way as i mentioned just alternating pattern of uh gray and light blue um the pigments of the terracottas are such that um like they're very close to each other like i i think it's like the magenta the red the purple like they're all very, the pink, all very similar in colour. Like, I I couldn't tell you, like, without without actually, like, looking up which particular terracotta is which. Like, it's very confusing to me. I'm sure that a lot of you guys are like, oh, it's quite obvious. I mean, they're completely different colours, but to my eyes, they are not. So, um... By the way, quick tip, I mean, this uh, it, if you're anything like me, um, you may want to place all of one colour for the, I'll call it the checkerboard pattern, because I'm not sophisticated enough to call it a chessboard pattern. But the alternating, like, um, checker pattern, I suppose it's a checkered pattern, really, a checkered pattern, um, place all of one colour first, I find it easier, you might not, than cycling through all, all the all the two, God, it's a really hefty amount of materials, um, <laughs> cycling between the two materials over and over again, you might find it a little bit easier just to place one, and then, I don't know, I find it, again, very satisfying, it's all about, it's all about being satisfied, some weird reason, um, building these things, um, I find it very satisfying to just, like, add in that extra colour, um, same thing with placing doors, I love placing doors, I actually, I love placing banners, don't like making them, though, um, as is apparent that I forgot most of the materials that I needed to make them. I <laughs> I don't know why I only thought... Technically, that I, I guess 
There's only rarely four letters in Mose, which is why I probably thought that I only needed four banners, but of course the apostrophe is very important, so. And it had complete, if there wasn't the apostrophe and there was only four letters, it had completely ruined the aesthetic of the front of the build, because then the door would have to be two rows wide. No, no, it, it couldn't be done that way. I would have had to have found, found a new way to make the sign of wise, but anyway, being silly about uh, about banners aside, we have almost completed the floor. Boom, there we go. It, it completely changes it. Like, I really like it inside here. Like, it, it just feels like a nice, cozy, warm sort of place, which I suppose is a bad sign considering the fact it's a bar. But uh, anyway, we're going to grab the dark oakwood planks, and on the right side of the build, we're going to come to the corner here, and we're going to move inwards one, two, and place a row of dark oak planks extending from the floor to the ceiling. We want the same thing on the right side, so we want to move in one, two, row from the floor to the ceiling. Um, we want to extend these, we don't quite want to extend these rows, to the left and in front of these rows, we want to then place one, two, three dark oak planks, extend left and have the equivalent part extending back. So we can actually place on the, on the left side, you can connect it, but on the right side, we're actually going to have an extra gap, and we're going to have a row of upside-down dark oak stairs. Around the bar, we're going to have um, birch wood fence placed like this to make bar stools. So the bar stools kind of like uh, on the right side, you kind of have like one sticking out. Then it's like a gap every other um, every other fence, and we want to have red carpet because the bar stools are kind of like ready, purpley, magentary, and um, I don't know. I'd, this carpet just seems to make the most sense. I really like that. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, in the corner, I want you to place a dark oakwood plank just like that. Don't ask why. <laughs> On the opposite side of the bar, we have a load of booths. So the booths are quite easy to make, and we're going to start off on the left and right side, we're going to place two, one, two, and one, two dark oak planks extending out. And we're, I think that we're actually going to knock out the entire row of spruce wood planks, and we're going to replace it using dark oak planks. And then where we have the separations of green terracotta, we're going to extend the dark oakwood planks outwards from where the green terracotta is. Crimson stairs are going to be placed in kind of like a U shape, or I suppose like an upside down U from my perspective, kind of like this, just along the inside of the uh, dark oak planks, like this. And then we're going to have iron bars in the middle. Did I place... No, no I didn't. And we're going to place red carpet on top of the iron bars to make a... There we go. That was so difficult to make a table. So just like this. So there's a load of booths. There we go. Boom. Perfect. So... I think that the last thing that we're probably going to do with the current materials is we are just going to lay out... Um, we're not going to lay out anything. I think that that's actually the last thing that we're going to do with these current materials. So I'm going to grab a whole new set of materials, ladies and gentlemen. It's probably going to be quite a few of them. The bar requires quite a bit. So I'm going to dump all of these out and I we'll probably see some of them again. But for the most part, that is the last time that we will be seeing those materials. So I'll be back in a second once I've regathered everything that I think that we'll need and we'll progress from there. All right, I think that I have gathered all the materials that we are going to need for this next part. But by the way, we will be going another round after this. That Mouse Tavern has a lot of stuff in it, all right? So, first of all, we're going to use cauldrons, crimson trap doors, item frames, oak fence gates, light, grey concrete, red carpet, <laughs> reading so slow, and rods, birchwood planks, and black concrete. So, now that we have all of these, we can start to work. So, at the front of the bar where we have the booths, we're going to have a bin. The bin is actually usually in this corner, but due to the layout, we had to uh, move it a little bit. So we're going to have a cauldron, crimson trapdoor, boom, we have a bin. 
Left of the bin on the wall, we are going to place two open, or maybe even three open, fence gates. These sort of look like pool cues. They look a little bit better if you can place item frames behind them. By the way, on bedrock, you cannot, unless perhaps you place the item frame first. No, on bedrock, you just simply can't do it. They look like pool cues to me. Maybe you want to take the bottom ones off. They're supposed to be in this corner, but once again, what can you do? Left of this, there is a cigarette machine. So... I mean, I don't, I don't even know if these things existed, but in most of them they do. So we have a light grey concrete, red carpet on top, item frame in front, and a sideways facing end rod sort of looks like a cigarette. So uh, you can even double up on that, by the way, depending upon how much room you want to take. It's, it's quite a wide machine, so you, you could do that if you wanted to. So that's all next to each other, condensed. It should be spread out a bit more, but as I said, you know what can you do. On the opposite wall over here, we have a dartboard. So, above at the booths, but just to the right of them, we knock out three rows and we place alternating birch plank, black concrete, birch plank. We place item frames in front of each one of these. And then we need to grab red concrete, note blocks, light blue glass, buttons, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood slabs, oak sign, green carpet, arrows. Okay. Perhaps I'd rather hold the hold the arrows. So um, we're going to place arrows in the left and right sides of the item frame. And then we're going to place red concrete in the middle. Sort of looks like a dartboard. Sort of. So then we have to make... Oh, we have to make a jukebox. So the jukebox is directly next to this double door couple of i'm using ironically i'm using note blocks with light blue glass in front and then a button uh, a button in front of the uh the note block and then if you wanted to perhaps you could like place signs around it or on the left and right sides you could even if you wanted to you could place something on top of the jukebox so i'm going to use green carpet but you can use any carpet and then if you wanted to you could even have like an item frame and um an item frame so this is just like extra like if you if you absolutely want to uh do this then you can you could have like an item frame and you could have just like a are you kidding me? You can have an item frame and a music disc. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to need the note blocks again. So, you know, if you wanted to, or you could have, I mean, you could have that in both if uh, if you so chose. But anyway, regardless, or maybe you could have uh, this. Something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I, I think it sort of looks like a jukebox, one of the old school ones, which is the point. Um, we have to make... A pool table. I think it's pool table. I don't think it's a snooker table. America makes more sense. It'd be uh, it'd be pool. So where the door is. So here. No. Here. Uh, we want to place on the fifth block, extending right of the door. So one, two, three, four, five. We want to place an upside down, facing inwards, spruce stair. Three slabs, spruce slabs, one, two, three. And then on the opposite side of that, spruce stair. We want to place spruce wood slabs on the inside of all of this, extending towards the left side of the bar. Spruce wood stairs on the ends, spruce wood slab, oh my bad. And then spruce wood slabs in between. So you can see that we've kind of got a table shape. Um, item frames on the middle ends of the table. Green carpet on top of the table like this and then oak signs on the middle of both sides of the table so on the left and right sides just like this perfect then we're going to what do we need we need some other stuff too so uh, oak fence block of redstone redstone lamp dark oak stairs level lever whatever bell painting get rid of these two a sea lantern spruce trap door so just like this above at the pool table the middle of it just the three middle blocks i want to place and it's important that we get this right so i think it's not there. Okay, we'll replace that. That's okay. So, above the middle three blocks, I want to have hanging down redstone lamps. Equally so, you could use lanterns, but these just seem to feel better to me. So, I just like that a little bit better. Boom. Pool table. Um, a couple of oak fence. 
on the corners so like if you do like opposite corners kind of look like pool cues as well so i don't know it just kind of helps to build the atmosphere i think or you know I, that's what i feel anyway in the corner of the room where we place the dark oak plank i want to place an upside down dark oak stairs in front of it and then we're going to need... A, you can actually use like a light grey terracotta because it's a weird colour. This is like the love machine that people always use. I want to place a bell on top. And actually, let's get rid of the bell first. I want to place... Um, I kind of want the mucky sort of... Mucky might be the wrong word. Kind of like the messy picture. It's... I, I don't know quite that. I sort of want that. I don't know why because it looks all blurry. With a bell on top. And a lever in front of it. I can't believe we can actually do that on Bedrock. That's crazy to me. Nice. So it's kind of like the love machine. It's it's kind of... I know that it doesn't necessarily look like it. But it looks like some sort of funny machine anyway. Which is what I'm happy with. Um, upside down dark oak stairs. Along the back of the bar area here. And with the dark oak stairs. What else do we want to do? Let me move around here. Okay. So what else do we want to do with these materials? So I actually want to knock out the green terracotta that we have just behind the bar and the spruce planks that we have behind i want to place sea lanterns behind the bar this provides a decent amount of light it does kind of want to be dusky in here by the way so um, i want to place light blue glass above the sea lanterns as well extending to the ceiling um, we also need uh, item frames too so there's a lot of stuff in the bar so i'm going to place item frames up the left and right sides of the bar here you can even place it like behind the bar too like if you want to get a little bit crazier you can even place a lever to the left of the bar this is kind of like the pump where you would uh, pump beer into a glass um we have spruce trap doors this wants to create a shelf at the back of the bar this is going to be placed in front of the lower half of the upper light blue glass block just like this um, I want to add pictures to the bar as well, so I can't remember where I added all of the paintings um, in my mind. I, I think I actually just added them just kind of like in this area here, because there's th there is lots of stuff on the wall in Moe's Tavern. So um, a couple of paintings here and there like next to each other, like it just... There's just lots of stuff on the wall everywhere. Like, we're going to be adding a couple of banners over here. And, like, it wouldn't be amiss if you place just randomly place stuff, honestly. Like, if you wanted to. But I think that I've pretty much done with... Where did the smoker come from? I think we've pretty much done with all of that. I genuinely don't know where that's come from. With all of those materials. So, for a final time, I promise this is a final time, we're going to grab some more materials and then this will put an end to the build. Okay. I think that this is all we need to complete the bar. I think that this is it. So we need some different kinds of bottles, item frames, again, magenta terracotta, again, buttons, glass pane, polished granite stairs, lanterns, and well, you can see the rest. We'll be grabbing it soon anyway. So uh, the point of the bottles is to fill the item frames. So the item frames, I mean, obviously you can use a wider variety. I just didn't feel like grabbing all sorts of different ones, but um, there's loads and loads of bottles and there's loads of glasses and stuff like around the tavern so that's what those are for uh the polished granite stairs is a till this is pretty much the exact color of it that's going to be placed in the center middle of the back of the bar area here lanterns on each ends of the corners here um i'm going to we need a tv as well i can't believe i forgot this the tv is situated pretty much above this dark oak plank here so it's going to be here and it's going to have an item frame in front of it glass pane in front of that and then a button to the side just like that so that's just like a hanging tv going to get rid of all of these blocks i hope that we don't need them again lime glass light gray carpet uh part sea pickle red banner blue banner on the left side of the bar we're going to have a lime glass with a light gray carpet on top that is pickles or eggs i i can't remember what an f uh what episode that's a reference to but there's a uh, there's a particular like there's there's either eggs or pickles or something in there um along the back of the bar i i just want to place like pots and sea pickles and um, these just look like glasses <sighs> okay i forgot that in bedrock one cannot place pickles on top of stairs but you can do that along the bar if you like 
Um, the banners are to be hung on the walls here, and then you can, if, if you want, you can, like, even hang them, like, here, just as a little bit of a decoration. And once again, there's loads of sports memorabilia and stuff, like, inside the bar. Um, along where the booths are, there's always going to be glasses and stuff, so feel free to add those where you fancy. And other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we've, we've kind of done. I'm actually really happy with the inside of the bar. I think it looks really cool, really interesting. And um, hopefully you, you know, if you're familiar with The Simpsons at all, which I am a little bit, you know, I love The Simpsons, uh, then you'll you'll be able to see some uh, see some things that you might recognize inside here. But we're done. So this is what most tavern will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. I'm very, very happy with how this build has turned out. It has combined two of my favorite things to make. Number one, a city build, and number two, a cartoon build. I love cartoon and movie stuff, and I love that we've been we have been able to incorporate both of them into one video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed making this. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. It really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the card system and the description below and the top of the comment section for more. I'd recommend the City Builds playlist. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there, guys. Like, if you really, really want to make some cool stuff, then check out that playlist. It's got a load of videos in it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.